Quen team from Alibaba has released two new models to their Quen 2.5 Coda collection. They have released 14 billion and 32 billion version. I was waiting for the 32 billion to come out and had a pin tab in my browser to check regularly so that I don't forget. And it's finally here. The reason for my interest was because the 7 billion had a good benchmark result. Uh, that's why I was hoping that 32 billion would be at GPT-4 level. And looking at the benchmark result, it seems to be worth the wait. In the graph shown, it seems to be on par with GPT-4.0. Uh, while doing better than GPT-4.0 on some benchmark, it does lag behind on others. For example, Quinn is doing better on EVL Plus at 86.3 versus GPT-4.0's 84.4. But lags behind on live code bench at 31.4 versus GPT-4 OS 34.6. But it is clearly doing better than both Deepsea Coda V2 in green and Cholesterol 22B in pink. And that is very impressive because Deepsea Coda V2 is 236 billion model. As per the benchmark results shown, it is on par with GPT-4 O and Claude 3.5 Sonnet on human eval. On MBPP, it seems to be better than GPT-4 and O and slightly behind Claude. On eval plus, doing better than both GPT-4 O and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. On live code bench, it has similar score to Claude, but is behind GPT-4 O. But on co code arena, it is almost 10 percentage point behind Claude 3.5 Sonnet. ADA is a benchmark to measure LLM ability to repair code. On ADA, it is almost two percentage points ahead of GPT-4 O, but approximately 13 percentage points uh, behind Claude. I checked the new Claude 3.5 Sonnet announcement blog and they and there they posted human eval at 93.7%. But on Gwen blog post, uh, Claude 3.5 Sonnet is marked at 92.1% for human eval. So I'm guessing scores posted by Gwen team for GPT-4.0 and Claude are uh, their own measured scores. Uh, let's look at the Mac eval results posted for Quen 2.5 quarter 32 billion. For C sharp GPT 4.0 seems to be doing better by about five percentage points. Uh, for Kotlin GPT 4.0 seems about three to four percentage points better. Uh, for Rust GPT 4.0 is about eight percentage points ahead. Uh, for Java Quen is on par with GPT 4.0. Uh, for Weeby and Haskell Queen seems slightly better. Surprisingly for shell scripts, Quen seems about 10 percentage points ahead. Uh, for Python, Quen seems slightly ahead. Uh, and JavaScript too, Quen is marginally ahead. Uh, for Scala, DeepSea Coder is ahead of both Quen and GPT-4.0. Uh, for C, Quen mar is marginally ahead. Uh, for C++, uh, GPT-4.0 is ahead by about 5 percentage points. Uh, for Dart and HTML, Quen is marginally, marginally behind GPT-4.0. Uh, but on average, it is at the same level as GPT-4.0. These are Quen 2.5 Coda 32 billions uh, result on MD eval benchmark. MD eval is a multilingual code repair benchmark. On average, Quen is slightly behind GPT-4.0. Uh, what's weird on Mac eval, which was the one we just looked at, is slight. Quen is slightly ahead of GPT-4.0, but on this uh, benchmark, MD eval, Quen is lagging slightly behind. And weirdly, on C++. Quen was slightly behind of GPT-4.0 on, on Mac eval, but ahead on MD eval. And for Go language, Quen was ahead on Mac eval, but behind by at least 10 percentage points in MD eval. Whereas Codestro was quite behind on Mac eval, but on far with GPT-4.0 on MD eval. And for Python, Quen was slightly ahead on Mac eval, but behind GPT-4.0 by about 10 percentage points uh, on MediVal. Comparing MacEval and MDEval is not like for like, and it is likely the discrepancy could be because of number of samples or tests per language in either of the benchmarks, but maybe we're taking a closer look, but not in this video. Quen team has also posted this A versus B win ratio chart, and this chart is based on Quen team's internal benchmark called Code Arena. The purpose of the chart is to measure human preference uh, from A versus B model, and GPT-4.0 is used as the judge. Uh, and Quen Code 32B is performing similar to GPT-4.0. Uh, what I found confusing is that GPT-4.0 is judging its own output against other models. Uh, I also find it weird that we are measuring human preference 
by using LLM, in this case GPT-40 as the judge. Uh, maybe I'm not reading this chart correctly. And if so, feel free to roast me in the comments. Uh, here is the complete list of Quen 2.5 Coda models. Starts with 0.5 billion, 1.5 billion, 3 billion, with context length of 32k. And 7 billion, 14 billion, and 32 billion comes with 128k context length. Only 3B is research only licensed, but the rest are Apache 2.0. Uh, very generous of Quen team. Thank you, Quen team. Uh, I should have mentioned this at the start of the video, but this video is not sponsored. Here is the benchmark results for the base models, which can be used for code completion or fill in the middle code completion. Uh, here is the benchmark results for the instruct versions of Quen 2.5 Coda. To me, it seems the human eval benchmark is saturated at this point because even the 0.5 billion model is posting good results. But looking at live code bench, it seems to show that smaller models lag behind according to their size. For live code bench, Quen team has mentioned that the questions used were from la latest four months, thus could not have leaked into the model training set and shows models out of distribution performance. And it seems Quen team might be releasing more mo LLM models for coding, which would be amazing. Here is a short video posted by Quen team showing Quen 32B version used with Cursor IDE to create Game of Life. Here is another video showing Quen 32B generating code artifacts for displaying three body problem in HTML. It is very thoughtful of Quen team to also post AWQ 4-bit quantized version uh, and also 4-bit GPTQ quantized version. Both AWQ and QPTQ are about 19.5 gigabytes uh, each in download size. I would be testing the AWQ 4-bit locally, which I think is faster and performs better. In my opinion, an amazing work by Quen team and also to release these models under a permissive license. To support the video, you can like or share the video and to help grow the channel, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.